Hi, Heather Gordon. So it's really nice to have you here on Pop17 today. Thank you. So it comes to my understanding that you went to Harvard for grad school. What did you uh, major at, master in? Um, I got my master's in fine arts with a focus on acting. And what did you do with the, that acting? Well, um, I've been working on a film, actually, and one just came out, Seducing Charlie Barker. Right, Seducing Charlie Barker. Mm -hmm. And before that, had you had any acting experience? Yes, I had a, a lot of acting experience. I started doing theater professionally when I was about 11. So I've had a focus mostly on theater, and I've had training up until I got into grad school, but I knew that I wanted to, to pursue further and to keep educating myself, so I applied for grad schools. Wow, that's awesome. So when you are playing, wait, what's the role that you're playing in? I play Clea, who uh, the director likes to call a uh, succubus. <laughs> oh, succubus. But she she's um, definitely comes in and turns some people's lives upside down. Mm -hmm. How do you adapt to that character? Well, I'm certainly nothing like her in real life. I'll tell you that <laughs> right now. Um, but, you know, just like any role, you, you just have to find something in that person that she's, I'll say this, she might be the bad girl or the villain in the story, mm -hmm. um, but you can't focus <laughs> on them as being this bad person. You have to find something good about them, uh, otherwise you're going to play one note. So I just had to find what I thought was her humanity and maybe what, how she justified her actions in it and just focus on that. Interesting. Yeah. That must have felt really empowering to put yourself in all these different situations. I also understand that when you were at Harvard, you went to Russia? I did. We studied abroad at the Moscow Art Theater in uh, Russia for three months. Three very cold winter months, but yeah, it was great. And seeing how Russia is completely opposite from America's political system, did you have any interesting experiences while you were there? Um, yes, uh, we had some days where we were told by our professors, don't come outside. Uh, it's not safe for uh, Americans or foreigners, especially on their sort of Independence Day. Uh, we used to walk around with a note in our pocket saying, please do not abduct this American. And that went for anybody, even the police system there. It's sort of known that if, if a police officer stops you, that you are to bribe them. I mean, it's just, there's a lot of very uh, different, different ways of behaving in Russia than there are in the United States. But I don't think badly at all of the Russian people. I had the most amazing professors and the kindest uh, fellow students in the dorm that were Russian. So it's, it's not a, a statement on the, the people at all. And I also understand that you witnessed a murder, is this correct? Uh, well, I didn't actually see the murder, but I did okay. see the murdered body, yes. Oh, boy. Yes, yes. Yeah, that must have been drastic. In the subway system. It was, it was. But I'll tell you, I had so <clears throat> many intense and, and um, surreal experiences while I was there that it, by that point it didn't even phase me. <laughs> it was just something else that I was taking in like, yep, okay, <laughs> this is here in Russia. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I also understand that to support you going to Harvard, you applied for the Miss Marin County organization. Is this correct? I did. I did apply. And I, I actually was crowned Miss Marin 2008. Oh, my gosh. What was your talent? I sang and I did a monologue there. But when I went to Miss California, I just sang. Oh, awesome. Yeah. And I got into the top 12, which was fantastic. You placed. That's so I did. exciting. I did. Yeah. So if you had any words of inspiration that you'd give to like young girls, what would that be? Young girls just going through any sort of hardship or any stage in their life. Well, the best advice I could give, and I don't by any means think that I'm great at giving advice, but <laughs> I would say that failure, you only fail when you give up. And to never give up on whatever it is, if it's a dream, if it's something you're trying to do, to better your life or better yourself, to never give up, no matter how many roadblocks you find, because there's always a way if you have the heart and the desire and the drive. Wow. And that really resonates for my story as well. Thank you so much oh, for coming here you. today. It was really it was nice, so to, nice meeting to meet you. I'm Rebecca Austin, and this is Pop 17.